Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to start off by apologising that I've been gone for quite a while. I feel like every video I've done for the past couple of months, like when I've uploaded it, I've apologised for not uploading like consistently. I've been so, so busy um, with other things and I, I know that that shouldn't be an excuse but it is. I'm so busy at the moment, I'm so drained. Um, but this is my hobby, like I love, love, love filming YouTube videos and editing them and uploading them for you guys that I just, I didn't want to not do it anymore just because life has got busier. Um, so I am going to try and get back into the swing of uploading videos. I'm not going to promise that there will be one. I'd love to get one up twice a week but I'm not going to promise anything at all. Like I'm not even going to promise that there'll be one every week just because with the job that I have now um, it's life's just getting a little bit manic and I am trying to look for somewhere else to live like I'm, I'm not staying in my parents house hopefully at the beginning of next year I will be out of my um, family home which is sort of sad but at the same time it's also exciting so that's getting a bit crazy like trying to get everything sorted for that so life's just getting really crazy at the moment and it has been hard to like just if filming videos isn't the hard bit it's having time to edit them like videos I can easily get up I, on a morning film the video and start editing it but then I have to go to work so I can't you know anyway I'm gonna stop rambling about the fact that um, I'm making excuses for why I've not been uploading. Um, I'm actually doing the 24 days of Christmas videos. I don't know what to call mine. I don't know whether just to call it 24 days of Christmas or 24 days of Jess or Jessie. I don't really, I'm not into my YouTube name anymore. There's a few things I want to change about my YouTube channel, but one of them is my YouTube name. I just don't like it anymore. Um, so who knows what will happen with that, I don't really know what this is going to be called. To be fair, it doesn't really need to have a name because obviously the video is just going to be the title of the video and then what day it is. So I don't really need a name, but I am doing 24 days of Christmas, so I'm uploading a video every single day. Um, and I'm also vlogging, but I will explain what's happening with my vlogs um, when I'm actually vlogging. I am going to do my November favourites today. So I have quite a few favourites, um, quite a few of them are makeup y bits. So let's just get straight into it because I've got a few things and I tend to ramble a lot as we have seen from the first four minutes of this video. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is this foundation. I have a feeling I've mentioned this foundation in a video before. It is the Bourjois um, Air Matte Foundation and this is really really good I absolutely love this foundation it's actually not the right shade for me at the moment which is gutting um, but I'm not gonna buy it in a different shade just because I go to South Africa on Boxing Day so I say I'm gonna get a tan and I will start using this again so it's, it's pretty pointless buying a different shade um, so right now I'm just not using this colour or I'm like proper blending it down my neck um, but this it comes in like a little squeezy tube it's not a pump and this foundation is fantastic coverage and the staying power of it is amazing as well so um, I would definitely recommend this foundation it is incredible moving oh, my nose has gone really red because I've been sneezing I think I'm starting to get a cold it's crap um, moving on to concealer I have quite a few uh, Bourjois products here, I've been really really loving them this month. Um, is the Bourjois, I believe, yes, Radiance Reveal Concealer Corrects and Illuminates. This concealer is so good. Bourjois do really really well at um, creating foundations and concealers. They've got incredible coverage and this does this the coverage of this concealer is incredible um it's not too thick personally i don't think it's too thick anyway i've heard that some people don't like putting it under their eyes because they think it's a little bit too thick but personally it's okay for me it comes with a little dove foot applicator and yeah there's not really a lot more i can say about it i might as well continue with uh bourgeois this is the line of 
Nature, I think it's called. It's a black eyeliner. This eyeliner, let me tell you, I was not the best at uh, winged eyeliner or liquid liner in before I got this. This has changed my life. Before, I never really did um, eyeliner or like winged eyeliner. I used to just use mascara because I found it too hard. It was just, unless I was going out for some, somewhere nice and I really wanted um, eyeliner, I just didn't see the point because it would just took me so long to try and get it right. Whereas now, when I use this, it's so, so easy to do eyeliner with. It's really thin nib, if you can see and it's just incredible i just don't know how to explain it it makes it so easy just to do the wing like if you press the nib like on the corner of your eye it sort of just like makes the wing already if you can see um so yeah i don't really know what else to say about it look can you even see it just makes a really really good wing liner it makes it super super easy to use and this has really really good staying power so overall I've been absolutely loving bourgeois recently I never really used them um, that much up until recently and now I get lots of stuff from their range because it's just so good and I absolutely love it moving on to eyeshadow I've been loving the NARS um, velvet eyeshadow stick this shade is gorgeous, it's like a goldy colour, I've been wearing it loads recently. It stays on for a really really long time and the pigmentation is great. It's not the best, I'm going to say I have tried eyeshadows that have better um, pigmentation than this, but it is really nice and the colour is gorgeous. For underneath my makeup I've been using this which is the Body Shop All in One Insta Blur. Um, I've been loving this. I heard so many people hype about this and rave about it and say that you need this and I thought no it can't be that good surely and it is. It is incredible. I can't remember exactly how much this is but it's not too expensive and um, I would say it's still in the um, drug, sh drug store price range it's incredible I don't know what else to say about it the consistency I've got to say when you um, get it out of the tube the consistency freaks me out a little bit I've not you know I don't really like it that much like the consistency of it it does really I don't like the feel of it but it, it just makes your skin look incredible so, yeah I've absolutely been loving this and my foundation still sits really nice on top of it moving on to non makeupy bits I've got quite a few things so I'm going to try and get through these really quickly for going to sleep on a night started a new job I feel like a lot of these revolve around my new job um, but uh, when I started my new job I finished late at night and then I was getting home and struggling to sleep so I thought I have to do something about it because it's starting to get out of hand. I wasn't going to sleep till like three, four o'clock in the morning and then having to get up again at like nine o'clock. So it just wasn't great. Like I wasn't getting enough sleep at all. So I decided to invest in This Works Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. I was, it's not focusing, there we go. I was very nervous about buying this because it's a lot of money, it's about, I think I paid about £18 for this, that was including shipping though I think. I paid £18 for this little bottle to risk it not working and at that point when I first bought this I didn't have a lot of money so I was investing in something that, you know, I, I didn't really have the money to invest in but I thought, you know, it'll be, it'll be worth the investment if it works and it was. <laughs> It is incredible, it's lavender scented, I really want to smell it but I know that I just get really sleepy and my bed is right there so I'll just get straight back into it. Um, but this is incredible, I will 100% buy this again, 100% without a doubt. I spray this on my pillow and just on like the top half like here of my duvet that's obviously going to be near my face, I spray this all around the top half of my bed and I fall asleep within five minutes. I don't know how it does it. I think it's probably the lavender in it. You know what, I'm just gonna smell it anyway. 
oh my gosh, it smells incredible. But I just, I don't know what it is about it. It must be the lavender, it's got to be. Um, but it's just incredible. I cannot fault this once in the slightest. It's so, so good and I've slept so much better since I've started using this. My next favourite is a little bit of a strange one and it is nail glue. Now, I have, I put, I do my own nails. These are not done professionally, I do them myself because I actually work two jobs. So, um, one of the jobs I can have my nails done for and the other one of my jobs I can't. So, instead of getting my nails done properly, which would just be a waste of money because I, um, I only work at one of the jobs um, once a week, it'd be pointless, I'd just be wasting my money so much. So, I do them myself and this nail glue has been incredible, it lasts me the week. Uh, sometimes, occasionally, I'll have to stick a nail back on if I catch it um, because at my job that I do full time, like throughout the week, um, I, I do knock my nails a lot. So if they come off, um, you know, it's just because I've been really rough with my hands. But this nail glue is incredible. It's the Nailing Ultra Quick Nail Glue. It's like super glue. It dries so, so quickly. And it just keeps the, keeps my nails on for such a long, oh, dropping it, for such a long time. And you get so many uses out of just this one pot, like this little thing. And I just, I don't know what else to say about it. It's incredible. The last thing I'm going to talk about that are these, as oh, is, I can't speak, is this curling wand. It's incredible. It's amazing. Like, I thought I was going to cry when I used this because, I'm going to explain because it makes me sound really dramatic. Um, I, I have really thick hair it doesn't actually look that thick when it's in plaits my hair is super super thick and heavy and if ever since i was a little girl i would probably say about nine or ten i just wanted curly hair i loved people with curly hair and so my parents and grandparents used to buy curling ones for me for christmas birthdays i would curl my hair with them it would do nothing by the time i'd curled half my hair the other half had Drop, like I'd curl half my hair, once I'd finished it, half of it had already dropped out. My hair just would not stay in curls and it used to really upset me because I love my hair when it's curly, absolutely love it. And so I was like, that's, you know, that's it. I'm just gonna slowly give in. I've got to have had about five different pairs of curly ones and not one of them has worked. I tried straighteners, curling my hair with straighteners, that does stay in a lot longer but not as long as I would like and they do tend to drop a bit. This curling wand was £7 from Morrison's and it is the best investment ever. If I curl my hair with this curling wand it stays in for three days. My hair has never stayed in with curlers before and this was only £7. Like it just shows that sometimes Things that are more expensive are just not as good. Like this curling wand is incredible and I'll 100% purchase another one if anything were to ever happen to this one. It's seven pounds, like I just, I can't get over it. It's incredible. It's from Morrison's, didn't say where it was from. I'm also gonna stop waving it around in my face because I'm scared I'm gonna hit myself, so we'll just put that down. Um, but yeah, that curling wand, it's only seven pounds from Morrison's and it is incredible. Anyway, now that I've stopped getting myself really excited about my curling wand, um, those were all of my November favourites. I hope that you enjoyed this video um, and I hope that you're looking forward to the 24 days of Christmas. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be vlogging but I'll explain what I'm going to be doing vlogging wise in my actual vlog. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!